but that's all future stuff. We'll figure it out. All right, Mad Dash over here. As soon as your fingers touch the wand, a surge of energy courses through your body. A howling choir of restless souls deafens your very thoughts. Green light pours from your eyes. It can rend soul from body if you so much as will it. The wand vibrates in your hand like it's alive, but no, it is certainly not. As you realize with amazing clarity, but there's definitely something inside and it's studying you closely. The power of the wand seems to resonate within you, making part of you tremble, the part that comes from your undead heritage. From the moment of their birth, every damp here stands on the border between the world of the living and the world of the dead. But now you seem to have taken a step away from life, closer to what lurks beyond. Reach out your mind and touch the power that's hiding within the wand. Your hand clenches the wand harder and harder, like it's closing around the throat of an enemy. Suddenly, the darkness lurking within the wand emerges and seizes your hand. It crawls through your eyes and deep into your mind. A spark flares in the darkness. It's a firefly held gently in the hands of a young mage. Its light barely diminishes the gloom, but it's enough to see the stone walls of a dungeon. There are several others, young and battered wizard crusaders holding magic wands, all showing signs of recent battle. You hear a rumble from above, followed by a furious demon shriek. The mages rise, preparing for another fight. A tall figure arises before them. Master Zacharias, you're alive! The mage towering over his apprentices is pale and his clothes are covered in blood. His voice is dull and dispassionate. The newfound sanctuary has fallen. You have fulfilled your duty. Now leave. This is my battle, not yours. Tell them. The apprentices, baffled, Turn around to the young man holding the firefly. Today I die and leave my friends. Take my wand and deliver it to Kenebris. In the hour of greatest need, let a worthy crusader return it to me. I will know that my brothers need me and I will rise to their aid. Even death will not stand in my way. Evil, unleash the power of the wand. Undeath is my fate. A tiny shadow emerges from the darkness of the cave and lands on your arm. It's a shaggy, death's head moth, one of Urgothoa's favorite animals. This is a good sign. The goddess is pleased with your decision. Your senses grow exceedingly sharp. You see not only the miserable corpses that litter the cave, but many others that found their end among these dark stones. All of them stare up at you with horror. A scream leaves your lips, and they cannot but obey. By force of will, you end the existence of these pathetic and powerless creatures and return them to oblivion. The mere sound of your voice is enough to summon all semblance of soul from the helpless puppets. They explode, bursting into tiny sparks of spiritual energy. The green light fades as quickly as it arose. The choir of the dead quiet their howls. The power slips away, even as every part of your body protests against it. You vividly realize how fragile and fickle mortal flesh is. <laughs>